welcome back to the channel. Hello to my OGs and hello to my newbies. Um, I'm Adele, I'm from Cornwall and on here you'll just see cleaning, hauls, budgeting, organising and vlogs and just kind of like everything all in one. Especially my weekly hauls, everyone loves my weekly hauls so far I see and I really appreciate that. Just trying to show you a more uh, budgeting basically. To show you how we budget and doesn't work for everyone but it really works well for us so I just thought I'd do that. So I've got a B&M haul and if you follow me on Instagram which is Born and Mum um, you would have seen a small snippet of what I've got and I'm now going to show you the rest of it so we will get on with this and let's have a look at what I've got. Yeah. First of all we got some classic Twinkies. I never tried Twinkies before until Geordie bought these and my goodness they are divine why have I never tried them. I've always seen them in Tesco's, seen them in B&M, and I've never thought about grabbing them, so I was a bit surprised and thought, well, they can't be that great for four pounds. These are four pounds, but by gosh, they are. So we got ten in a pack, and yeah, they're amazing. And what I've just noticed is you've got other ones at the back there, if you can see as well. So we've got a movie night tonight, so I'll be having a few more of those. Yes, some are gone, but that's Geordie, not me, just to say that. Next, we've got the Milky Bar. Um, chocolate bars, mini chocolate bars, so the kiddies, um, Cotton and Rafina love them, six in a pack and they're only a pound so you can go wrong with milk bars I don't think for anyone. Then I got, we got some pop tarts, now I've never tried pop tarts, well I don't even remember trying them, I know my, um, we've had them before in the family and I'm pretty sure my sister ate but I have never had, especially this, hot fudge sundae frosted pop tarts and by gosh they are good, they are mainly for the kids for a um, treat breakfast. But the eldest loves them, the two little ones won't even try them. So I guess I'll take their turn and I will have the rest of them. So they taste divine. Again, these are £2.60. And what you will see is um, I'll be doing a cherries haul soon for a month or a two week haul, month haul on snacky foods and treats that um, the kiddies like a lot of. Because these are cheaper on cherries. So. You'll see that savings we're going to do with this after I looked into cherries properly. How much we'll be getting um, for the month saving on those trips to the shop where we buy crisps and biscuits and stuff. I can buy a whole month's worth or two weeks worth depending on how I feel and save a lot of money there as well. <clears throat> so you'll see that one soon hopefully as well. So yeah, pop tarts. Then the kiddies um, saw the crisps file, so Colton chose cheese and onion and a bean of no. Wrong way around. Athena chose cheese and onion, and Colton chose salt and vinegar. So one pound each. Six and a is it six and a pack? Yeah, six and a pack of bombers. You can't go wrong, can you? Again, um, I made a goal that this autumn and winter for the rest of the year and next year and years onwards, I am going to start doing more baking with the children, especially with the rain, weather being raining all most of the time. It's it's pouring down today. I thought that I'll make a change and we'll start doing more crafty inside baking. And Colton's get to age that he'll love it. Athena's starting to enjoy extra things as well so why not so I found Hey Dougie Cupcakes pack for a one pound but of course because Athena wanted it and then Colton wanted it we ended up with two so the eldest is going to enjoy joining in with this because we got two packs of chocolate is it chocolate chocolate cupcake cakes of Hey Dougie a pound each such a bargain I do only look for ones that are about a pound for these um, little packets because some of them in Tesco's are now like two pounds or three pounds for these. But um, if I can grab them for a pound, I'll grab them for a pound. If not, I'll get those little sponge mixes you can buy, or I could make it from scratch. But I don't really have the time to weigh up things if Colton and Fina get involved. So it was just easier to pour it out. Everyone can mix it together, and it's easier. <laughs> then, if you haven't noticed, if you haven't seen my Instagram um, mini haul, I got some pink miracle cleaner for the floor, all purpose floor cleaner. I've seen this everywhere over Instagram and I thought to myself I need to grab some, I love the pink stuff um, and it was just one of those buys that was kind of, I saw it, I grabbed it and I knew we needed for new floor cleaner because Geordie left the empty bottle in the cupboard because obviously I haven't been able to move much. So I grabbed some quickly, so I'm well chuffed, this was about £1.29 I think it was. So I'll let you all know in my shorts because I do a lot of cleaning shorts on there how this actually goes and if it's any good as, well, if it's as good as everyone says. So, pink miracle floor cleaner. Um, so I grabbed these next. These are just kind of a buy because I've never had them before and I've always wanted to try them out and I think they're just normal 
hot chocolate but they look cool so these were a pound each and you get seven seven individual cups in each seven individual cups then like that you got galaxy and you got more teaser and let's have a look at one because i'm going to make better one anyway so we've got a galaxy and more teaser in those seven in a pack these were only one pound each but How cute, isn't it? Now I will be reusing these plastic tubs to grow like um, watercress and stuff in, so do not panic. These will be recycled or have watercress seeds. I'll find a reusable moment for these. But how cute! So you, you just take that out. Oh, and then you just pour hot water or hot milk in it. So that'd be good for taking out and about as well on our little walks, just around, just around. It'll make you feel like you've bought a coffee or something from a shop, won't it? But you've bought it in an affordable way. So I thought these were quite cute for quick, like, next day. They've come out in the rain from going to the beach in the rain, have a nice walk out the have, and they can now have a little hot chocolate. And the little kiddies can have one, because I can cool it down, put a little straw in, and all, there you go. Bob's your uncle, and you've got little hot chocolates. Ha! That's well cute! Sorry. But yes, so we've got 14 of those, two pounds all together, one pound each. They're so adorable. Then I got the classic um, Biscoff, Biscoff spread for Bella. This is only a pound, yet again. Keep an eye out for my cherries when I remember this product because um, I found one a bit larger and a bit cheaper, I think. So this one is only a pound. Bella loves it on her toast and her pancakes. 200 grams. Ooh, maybe it's not cheaper on cherries because cherries is 400 grams, two pounds. It works out exactly the same, but yeah. So that's our biscuit spread. We always have to have a little tub. And a little tub lasts a week or so, so it's it's good bargain, I think. So a nice little treat there for Belle. <laughs> we go on to the next item. Geordie wants to show you this item that I was going to leave to the end. Go on, show him. Okay. It's a nice little toy for Colton, but I think Geordie enjoys it more. Literally there. <laughs> So this came blue as a little fish, didn't it? Yeah. And Cotman likes baby sharks, so he runs around and tries to eat the shark, well, the little fish with the shark. But you've got to be careful with your fingers, because he does try and <laughs> your fingers at the same time. So yeah, that was only six pounds though, bargain. Absolute bargain, wasn't it? And he loves it. He's been waiting for this moment his whole entire life. With his shark. <laughs> you finished? Did show my twinkies. Yes, I did at the very beginning, and I said you ate most of them as well, so. And for £4, a little bit expensive. Okay. You're quite dear when you've scoffed them. <laughs> right, right, next on to the next product. So that was Colton's toy, that was only £6, which was so worth it. The shark, and he had little fishies, and then he goes, baby shark, do, do, run away, shark, run away, and then he eats the fishies, it's adorable. So next on the list is a probably not as adorable factor of an adorable product like that one, but elbow grease washing up liquid. 89p, it is amazing. It lasts forever and it smells divine. And the amount of bubbles, because I like ones that create loads of bubbles, is perfect. So I got my elbow grease. Then going back to the pink stuff, as you remember, Miracle Floor Cleaner, I then had to go and get, because we needed it, but I had to get the pink stuff one, toilet cleaner. I always like the fact it's pink. I know, it's well cute. Pink stuff. Having pink. If I could have the whole house pink, I would. But I don't think Geordie would allow it. But yes, pink stuff, the Miracle Toilet Cleaner. I don't know why it's in Miracle. I wonder what the Miracle is hidden behind all this. But uh, one day I will find out and I will understand. But it smells really good as well. So yeah, just, just, just nicer than your old. It looks prettier. It looks prettier when people come around and you have your bleach. Like, in your toilet area. Instead of the domestos or whatever it is. And... Oh, the cleaner commands. I have a pink one. So there we go. Bleach. I didn't know I could be so happy about bleach, but only a pound. So then we're getting to the bottom of the bag. So I, it's not a massive haul, but it's. I don't know what my jumper's doing. Right, there we go. It's not a massive haul, but I'm, I'm well chuffed with what we got. Um, so next I grab. So as everyone knows, I make um, wax wax candles, but um, this year instead of always. Because I always get stuff from other people as well, but. Instead of using all my products and then not having anything in stock because I use them and then it becomes a really vicious loop because people are like, oh, can we have some? And I'm like, oh, I'll just use the last one myself. I thought to myself, I'll grab two trays from B&M. So 
these are £1.50 each and um, there's nine cubes, one cube probably last, I don't know, probably about, well, I haven't tested it, I'll have to let you know in a short how long these last, but I'd say probably a couple of days, but this smells so good. So we've got sandalwood, cedar and cardamom and we've also got lang lang rose and patchouli. I don't really like the colour black as a wax melt, but because um, it, it, it stains for some reason every time I've had dark colours like black or brown, not browns like that colour, but a darker brown and like a rich rich red or a rich rich purple deep blue and stuff like that. it's always stained my warmers and made it very hard to clean out so I normally avoid really dark colours but um, I'm really intrigued of 150 for, for this whole cube it'd be really nice to see how strong they are and if they do last a long period of time it should be good so yeah I thought £3 for both you couldn't go wrong could you and I thought they're cute and I actually might go back and get some more of these for little um when I do my Christmas gifts ideas and um, yes I'm already talking about Christmas it's not far away but I'll probably grab some of these fit in there as well so it'll be exciting to do those videos probably won't look as good as many people on YouTube but it will look like mine <laughs> finally but I did buy an elbow grease um, oven cleaner but I don't know where Jordy's moved it to or else I would show you but it's another cleaner set, it's 2 dollars and it was fume free and um, it comes with bags, gloves and the liquid to put all your racks and your grills in so they can just soak and then you just soak it in you probably wouldn't be interested anyway but it's just in the box and I have a reel on my Instagram and a short as well on here and on my TikTok for when I do use it to show you the results two pieces, the last two items of Fina chose the only autumnal pieces we got because everyone had meltdowns so I left and to begin with with no light on I put these not being horrible I put these looked a tiny bit tacky but let's see so you can see nice little pumpkin and gold it's got little dots in it so that's what made it look tacky to me was when I saw all these little dots so and a nice kind of like brown orangey one here like a bronze but it did it did stand up for what it should say because when you turn them on they look adorable they're actually the most adorable things look at them how blooming cute are they and I'm just planning on putting them on my windowsill in the kitchen and then having those there because we have got some autumnal bits coming tomorrow from Amazon. Literally free items that I'm dying to show you. But don't be fooled by how they look without the lights because I thought they were tacky looking. I'm not going to lie. People can see they look lovely. I thought they didn't look lovely. I thought they just looked horrible until I turned them on. And then look. We were going to buy them anyway because the Fina wanted them. But. And they were £2 each. £2 each. And I thought these are so cute now, and I'll never be about them. So they're going to have to have like forever lasting batteries because I don't really want to have them up on display or off. I'd rather just keep them on. Oh, they're so cute! Yeah, so they've been a choice well. So two pounds each. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's let's put them behind me so we can actually have them on. Let me just move over. Welcome to my channel, Autumn Festival. How cute does that look? <laughs> They're adorable. Anyway. The pumpkins. Oh, how cute does that look? Now, let's just put you back up actually one minute. Let's try. So yes, that is my autumn haul. Well, it's not an autumn haul, that's my B&M haul with my two little autumn parts there. So if you enjoyed this video of madness, then please do hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I really appreciate it. And so you'll see a vlog up hopefully this week, well, hopefully tomorrow or Monday of just mismatch week. Literally, it's just me waffling you'll enjoy it or you won't but i think you will so 
yeah, got that one coming up, and then got an Amazon haul coming up because got my Amazon stuff coming tomorrow, and then I'll put them, get my um, travel order in. And also, when I get paid again, I've got this small little company business that I'm ordering from for tournament bits as well. So it's all going on. I cannot wait. I will have some more clean rooms as well when I can actually move quicker. Whereas you probably would have about a three hour long video of me just doing the sink, moving from back to forth, back to forth, back to forth, back to forth. So yeah. And one day Geordie will pick up his camera and do a vlog while he's out with the kids because we could have had like a whole week's worth of vlogs but someone forgot to pick up the camera. But that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed this haul and I hope you hit the subscribe button and join me next time. And um, I'll see you all with my Amazon haul.